Hello, welcome to uh, Forza Motorsport 4 Auto Vista video. It's been a while since I've done it, and I believe the last car we did was the F50. Anyways, so as you probably guessed, and you also probably read the title, we're doing the Hummer H1 Alpha. So, let's do it. We're going bowling. Man, I wish I could do it in that Ford Focus RS. Might not be an RS, it might be an ST. I don't know. It's just a Ford. Nah. Anyways, so let's start the race. Gotta get a ton of points, but this is a pretty big truck. Well, is it a truck or is it an SUV? Because it has, full, it has two sets of seats, but yeah, that's the confusing part. Anyways, this thing's so big that I can barely see it. It's also probably not worth trying to slide. Yeah, I can barely see the pins. But hey, at least if you get into an accident, you don't have to worry. Anyways, I'm going to do it from the driving view. It'll be easier that way. Perfect. Then get into a small slide, but that's not going to be easy. Anyways, continuing. Yeah. Anyways, through here, slide it. Go, go, go into here. So that way I can get a ton of yellow pins. Why did I slide? That was, there was no need. No need to slide. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> I think the reason I slid, I tried sliding was because I thought I needed to to maintain the amount of points. Because, yeah, that's what generally happens. Anyways, yeah, just sliding it a little bit will get me some more points. Anyways, yeah, I can still barely see you because this truck is... Is a truck, though. I'm going to keep asking that because I, generally, I do want to know. Is it a truck or is it just an SUV? Or is it an off-road vehicle? It's just for off-roading. Nothing else. Anyways. I mean, yeah, I guess you could consider it like a Jeep, where it's not really an SUV because it's so small, but... Still. Is it? Anyways, a hundred extra? Now we can look around the car, I guess. That didn't take long. Okay. Hummer. <laughs> That's why there are going to be two Auto Vista videos. Multiple Auto Vista videos, if, depending on how long this one takes. Anyways, we always got to start with the man himself, Jeremy Clarkson. But last time I think it might have been a tad hard to hear, so... It doesn't work all the time, alright? That's why I can whack it. Because I probably just need to replace it anyways. Okay, whatever. I'll just try and be quiet. There's a famous scene from the first Gulf War where the convoy of Humvees enters a minefield. One of them hits a mine, gets blown clean in the air, lands on all four wheels, and continues on. That is not possible in a land track. It was at this moment that the Hummer legend was born. Someone quickly figured out that there were enough crazed gym enthusiasts in California to justify making the Humvee available to non-military types. Fitting the Humvee into civvies meant replacing the 6.5-litre Detroit diesel engine with a 6.6-litre GM Duramax. And since this engine made just 300 horsepower in a car that weighs more than most houses, it was often quicker to walk to the shops than use the Hummer. Still, if between you and the shops was a 22-inch obstacle to be cleared, or a puddle 30 inches deep, or a minefield, the Hummer H1 was the car for you. These turned out to be obstacles that most people don't face, and as a result, the H1 Alpha was discontinued after just over a year. That's sad. R.I.P. Hummer. Anyways, uh, yeah, you might not have heard it very well. If so, basically, 
He, uh, had mentioned a movie where a Hummer gets blown up by a landmine and lands on all four wheels and keeps driving. Here, we can make it red. Anyways, it gets blown up on all and then lands on all four wheels and keeps going. And, and uh, then, uh, the engine was replaced for civilians because enough crazed gym enthusiasts uh, would use the truck. Okay, but it was discontinued because it wasn't and to really as practical since apparently you could just walk. Anyways, let's look at the information about these. Huh. It did not talk about those hooks. Anyways, I'm going to leave the video at 7 minutes long. So thank you for watching, and goodbye. Well, not really 7 minutes. It's going to be more like 6 minutes and 50 seconds. Anyways, bye.